So back in 2014, Alex and I really started to look at the disciplinary procedures and investigation processes um, for our campus because that's when we were tasked uh, um, from the university with being the Title IX coordinator and the deputy Title IX coordinator. Um, we spent a lot of time that summer reviewing the information that the White House had put out um, that was coming out from Dear Colleague letters that was coming out in the media. And we also had the opportunity to attend a Title IX Institute as well to really learn about what are the strong foundations for good Title IX compliance um, and what makes a good investigation, what makes a good disciplinary procedure. Um, so after we kind of took in all of that information, we really sat down and put together a proposal to change our policies and protocols for our campus. We utilize a process that involves external um, investigators who come in and conduct our fact-finding investigations. And then the process is completed with a hearing panel conference where in, e where in which each student can then give a final statement to staff, Bentley staff members who serve as part of that hearing panel. We really think that this is the right process for our campus because we took what the government was recommending, other promising practices that other schools were using, but then really looked at our own institutional culture and climate and put together a process that we think makes sense on all of those accounts. Um, we also feel strongly that our hearing panel members take their training very seriously and their role as part of the process incredibly seriously and look at each case individually and make a determination for the right outcome for all of the students involved as well as our community for a whole. And then finally, for us on our campus, which is a bit smaller and our, our students tend to know one another and staff tend to know students on a really deep level, it's been helpful to bring in external investigators who can really bring a fresh pair of unbiased eyes to each matter. So in thinking about um, really creating better awareness on our campus and developing strong resources for our students when we think about sexual assault, for us it boils down to uh, making a more inclusive and a safer campus culture. And I think we do that through a few different ways. Um, one of the main vehicles for us has been creating a, a group of peer educators that come out of the space that we're in, in in the Equity Center. And this is a space that's meant to focus on gender and sexuality resources. Um, I think we know that when the students themselves are the ones talking to their peers and talking to their classmates, the message just resonates and sits differently than if it's always our staff or always our faculty sharing this. So we have a fantastic group of 11 students who are really passionate, who have gone through quite a bit of training over the last year, and who are doing some really great work. Um, this ranges from workshops on healthy relationships to programs on bystander intervention um, to programs that are just raising general information and education around sexual assault prevention. Um, we've also spent a lot of time creating new marketing materials that make the most sense for our campus and our students. And sometimes that's still print forms of marketing and a number of different flyers, and sometimes that's just becoming more innovative, using virtual cards, making sure we have robust online and web-based resources and using social media as appropriate. Finally, I think we're mindful of when we need to have large-scale programs that bring in a number of students. Um, and we've done that through different screenings of films and documentaries. We've brought in a number of different campus speakers who are experts in these areas. And we've had a number of programs that really task men to step up and use some of their privilege and power. So whether that's a white ribbon campaign, walk a mile in our shoes, um, or just having them be some of our, our good allies in the movement and the work that we're doing. So I think all this is hopefully leading to a culture that will be more inclusive, more informed, and more compassionate for our whole campus.